Shalom from Jerusalem. Today we are entering to Shabbat. It's not regular day of Shabbat, Friday evening. We are entering also to the Feast of Shavuot, Feast of Weeks. Shavuot is one of the seven biblical mandate feasts of Israel. There is to be holy gathering and no regular work on this day. It's one of the three pilgrimage feasts commanded by God in Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 16, in which all the Jewish men and women were required to travel to Jerusalem to present their sacrifice to the priests for taking before the Lord. Several names of Shavuot. Shavuot is the fifth feast of weeks, like I mentioned, first fruits, Harvest Feast, Pentecost. Shavuot on the Feast of Weeks in Leviticus chapter 23, the Israelites were instructed to count seven Shabbats, seven weeks from Sunday after Passover and bring their offering because the feast date is identified by counting of weeks from Passover it's called the Feast of Weeks. In Hebrew, the word Shavuot means weeks, the first fruit and harvest feast. In the biblical times, the holy day commemorate the completion of the wheat harvest. It was the time to give really appreciation, thanksgiving to God Almighty for his sustaining provision for another harvest. The unique instruction of God for the Moed appointed time is to offer along with offer burn offering sacrifice of two loaves of bread baked with hametz or leaven because it's the gift from the first grain of the harvest. Shavuot is also called the day of first fruit of the harvest feast. Pentecost. Pentecost means 50. And Shavuot was designed for Sunday after seven Shabbat of the fifth day from the Passover. It was on Shavuot 50 days after Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, dead and resurrection. And when all Israel was gathering in Jerusalem for this pilgrimage feast that God miraculously gave the gift of the Ruach HaKodesh of the Holy Spirit to dwell in believers. For this reason, the Shavuot is also called the Pentecost and Messianic believers, Messianic Jewish celebrate the gift of God's Spirit with believers. In this new day, the temple was destroyed in 7 AD, and the Jewish people were again dispersed through the world, scattered to all around the world. With this, the observance of this appointed time changed, according to the book of Exodus, the giving of the Torah, closely with timing of Shavuot. It observed of the temple in which makes sacrifice today. Shavuot commemorates God giving the Torah to his people in Mount of Sinai. When God gave the Torah, he revealed more of himself to the children of Abraham. The people were able to know so much more about glorious God. They are served. Following his commandments as giving and Sinai set them apart and identify them as his people. Today, Jewish Shavuot celebration center of reading the word of God, the Torah, that traditionally is to stay up all night long studying it, receiving the Ten Commandments, and going to synagogue for service 
with more readings. His law is in our hearts. Amen. We see in Jeremiah chapter 31, 31 to 33, to 32 officially. In Sinai, God wrote his law on the table of stone, the tablets of stone. He declared there will come a day when he will write his law. Come after me. He declared there will come a day when he will write his law upon our hearts. He fulfilled his prophecy on the Shavuot after Yeshua's did when, he, when his Holy Spirit descended like tongue of fire upon gathering believers of Acts chapter 2. He imparts his spirit to dwell within every new believer. We see also in Messianic Jewish and Shavuot. Messianic Jewish recognize the true, the Torah. We see our need for Savior and Redeemer, and that lead us to Messiah, Yeshua, King of Glory. In Galatians chapter 3, 24 in New Testament. At Shavuot, we celebrate the God reaching down and to human history to reveal himself through the Torah and also the gift of his very present with all believers through the Holy Spirit. It's time to dedicate Ourself afresh to growing in his word and the spirit. Grati gratitude for his provision and rejoicing in his presence. That's meaning this season is a season of harvest and really rejoice of his salvation. Amen. Are you prepared for the harvest? There's a question for, for you and for me myself. You know, evangelists is literally spread the gospel of good news. That's meaning we need to save souls. We need to bring more people to him. We must pray that God allows for seeds to be planted in a firm soil. Works must be saturated and burn some prayers. Evangelism, principle of action, is integrated with prayer you can have one without other. That's why we need to have the breakthrough of God in our personal life. Amen? Come we praying together right now in one spirit and asking God's goodness and mercy always be upon us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. You say, Abba Father, in this Shavuot, there is be holy gathering. Lord, I pray that this holy gathering for us be really significant. And we are really restore our identity in you. Remember, our identity is not depression, worries, shame, guilt. Stop personalizing that belong to the devil. Remember, say after me, I am the child, child of the living God. I am no child of depression and sadness and poverty. I am the child of the living God. Hallelujah. And this month of June is a significant month. It's a month of breakthrough, month of miracles. That's why battle over your finances, health and family are ending. In Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ's name. Be blessed. Hallelujah. And God said, you are next in line for breakthrough and miracle, miracle supply from God. Hallelujah. One of the best days and destiny moments in your personal life happen when you have courage to stop caring about what other people think and feel about you. And start caring about what you think and feel about yourself and believing that God Almighty has planned for you life. 
Your life really matters to God. When you stay in peace, you are in position of power. If you do not have peace on inside, you will not have the peace around you. Remember, take the time to really be the living testimony. All the people that broke your heart actually fix your vision, strengthen your faith, and push you into destiny. They were really show you what you were really made of. That's why you are next level of blessing. You are next level of success. As you move into a new season, resist the temptation to look back. Hallelujah. Nothing behind you is greater or more a blessing that what God Almighty has already planned and scheduled for your future. That's why I declare in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 9. A territorial anointing comes on you now for really season of this June. June is the harvest season. June is the answer of prayers. June is the preparation for Breakthrough financially. God gave his covenant to you. Watch this full word and get ready for, to inherit. Come with together, declare the numbers. Chapter 33, 53. Take possession of the land and settle in it. For I have given you the land to possess. When you are close to God, he will tell you things in the spirit and with prophetic dreams. He gives you head up and special instructions. He gives you the wealth, abundance, idea, really cutting edge, Businesses, strategies. He ordered you steps so you have divine encounters and miracle favor. God help you to succeed in all seasons. Not only now in this season, in all seasons, God say, I bless you. This is time for reset, restart, refocus as often as you need. Glorious, miraculous blessing overtake you today. And I pray for everyone who listened this short word of Shavuot, Pentecost. I'm praying right now. Adonai Elohim, Lord God. So many cannot walk without your guidance. Some facing each day a struggle and yet still Find their hope in you because you are only our hope and destination. If we do not know about the power of the cross, will impact be as great? I pray for faith in all situations. God knows the plans he has for you and he knows how to get you where you are going. Psalm 65, 2. I declare the praise report coming to this month of June. Yes, and amen. And I declaring this feast of Shavuot, the Pentecost, you are about to experience great peace, power, and miraculous provision. Expect to experience Overflow a blessing in this month of June. Remember, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ, is unlocking your life from past limitations. You many times don't understand. I want this, I want this, I want this kind of blessing. You have so many things you need. But God say, you limit me. 
That's time now, God say. Finish from the past limitations. Miraculous God will only give you what you have capacity for. We all in preparation to have the glorious miracle capacity in Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Be encouraged with this great harvest season. Shavuot. It's a pouring of the Holy Spirit. Remember in the Disciples unite together. It's a few minutes walk from my house in upper room. They're gathering together in Shavuot. And they're really united in one spirit. Remember, and we have no division, no past feelings and thoughts. We united in one spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit take place. Abundance of anointing take over your life, and everything around you. And I pray the Holy Spirit fill you right now with the presence of Shekhinah glory. Yes, and amen. In Yeshua, the Messiah, Savior and Redeemer, we pray. Amen. Remember one important thing. Shavuot, it's God gives. Shavuot is one of the seven biblical mandate feast of Israel. And that's why God say, is a time for us to gathering together in one spirit and receive the really great miraculous blessing. Miracles God give us key that unlock the doors in your own personal life and to the presence of the living God. This is the time. This time God Almighty usher us into glorious season of presence of God and breakthrough. This encounter with, with God invites transformation. God give us the new heart and a new spirit. Hallelujah. Yes and amen.